Okay, well, I'll head back to the... into the lodge. Am I able to figure out anything more than just weird symbols for a... profile photo? Um... Well, you've got the si some symbols on your stuff, haven't you? Yeah, but the Haunted Hiker 92, their profile picture is just a bunch of weird symbols. Okay, so it's nothing like what you um, have, have in your papers. I probably don't recognize them, I'm assuming. Otherwise, I would have... They are not, like, symbols okay. on your paper. Okay. So, the two women that uh, Tom was talking about, Molly and Olivia. So I'm sure Victor will want to be included in the talking to, talking, questioning. Most likely. Yeah. Oh, he's just coming back now. Okay, so... Where did you disappear to? Me? Yeah, where'd you go? I just had to go to the washroom. Oh, sorry for intruding. You're not intruding. I'm done. I'm back in the dining room. What's up? Hey, so... your girlfriend might be involved. Aren't you excited? Hey, 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 all right. So, yes, yeah, so it was Molly. She wasn't involved. She was just at talking. No, they were talking. Molly, and, it was Molly and Olivia. Yeah, and good. Just another, just another reason to go see Olivia. I yeah, it. I knew you'd be excited about that. And she said that Molly will be back a little bit later, so. Have we seen Molly? Uh, you've probably seen her around town, but never, like, acknowledged her. Okay. That sounds like us. And yeah. which one was uh, the creeped out one? Do you remember or no? The what? Well, Tom said one of them was creeped out. Which one was it? Was it Olivia or was it Molly? Molly. He didn't, I, didn't, I didn't ask what, if they were creeped out. I just asked who it was. Ah. I got 10 bucks on Molly. Yeah, Olivia yeah, seems it pretty. A bit, uh, yeah. rattle, Olivia. Olivia seems like it would take a lot. So do we want to go and talk to Olivia now? See if she's at work? I think Victor should go. He should take the lead on, on the questioning. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I'm, I'm, sure I'm there. just there for report. I think um, next person is actually going to be Wyatt. What's she doing in your room with all that bacon? Uh, trying to figure out what just happened. Okay. What are, what are you doing so, to do that? Wyatt's just kind of laying in bed, cuddled up with his stuffed bear, trying to process. Kind of rewinding the events in his head and inadvertently humming the uh, tune. So roll to read a bad situation. That Plus would be an 11. Plus sharp. You, you got that with the sharp? 12. Oh, wow. Um, so you get to pick three of those questions. Uh, so what's my best way in? What's my best way out? Are there any dangers we haven't noticed? What's the biggest threat? What's most vulnerable to me? And what's the best way to protect the victims? Let's start with what's the best way to protect the victims. Um, your best way would probably be making sure that uh, Frankie doesn't end up alone at any point. Uh, that would be probably best in your mind. Um, 
either that Good luck or with that. Plugging their ears. What's the best way in? Um, I don't know if I can give you this one. It's like you know, recognize that there was a clearing. You recognize that in the clearing there was some water, but you've never been to that area. So I can't really give you like, hey, go here. Are there any dangers I didn't notice? As you replay it over and over again in your mind, um, the different forms in the fog looked uh, almost corporeal. While at first you thought it was just the fog, you begin to be like, those kind of look like people or something. Okay, I know where I want to start. All right. Um, Can I hold one of those? Yep. We have phones and we can text, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. no. I'm going to text Frankie. Uh, all it's going to say is be careful at quicksand. <laughs> That's not cryptic at all. Um, is this some form of riddle? What? I mean, Careful Have you guys ever seen that post talking about how TV shows and movies had me believing that quicksand would be a lot more of a problem than I was a child? Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to text back. You know quicksand isn't really quick, right? In all caps, just be aware of quicksand. Uh, and all caps back, I'm just going to reply, quicksand is very slow. Any response to that? Good talk. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna go to, there's like a convenience store place, a general store, right? Kinda, yeah. Frankie, I'm sending you something on Discord directly. One second. That's the symbol. I'll have you take note of what's at the bottom. Um, so are you going to the police station oh sorry uh, Charlie what do you want to do talk to your evil cohorts that stole those people 
we might have lost Charlie already. Okay, whatever, that's fine. Um, okay, so Victor and Maxine, you're going to the police station, or are you just sending Victor? Say that again, what? You're going to the police station, or are you just sending Victor? I would never just send Victor. Right. I think Olivia would either shoot him or arrest him. Or both. Or hang on with those. Yes, what Frankie says. So what are you doing then? We're going to head over. Both you together? Sure. Okay, so uh, what are you talking along the way or what do you want to do? Well, so we're going to go and talk to Olivia. Do you think that you can control yourself around her? Yeah, I can control myself as long as she doesn't say anything stupid. No, I'm talking about you saying something stupid. Yeah, I can't guarantee I can't say anything stupid. I always say stuff that's stupid. Just make sure you ask the right questions and we'll be done quick. Oh, and what are the right questions? What's you already know the right What's question. my best way out? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's it. All right. You guys walk through the door. And. One sec. Is anybody. Where is he? This guy. Is standing at the desk. Just oh. one sec. Hello, um, how can I help you today? Hi, uh, we haven't met this guy. Have we met this guy before? I think yeah. Frankie yeah. did. Yeah, Frankie did. Okay. I don't think I have seen this guy. Hi, uh, we're just looking for Olivia. Really? Um, she actually, it's her day off today. Um, oh. Can I help you with anything? No, you won't be able to. We, no, we needed to talk to Olivia, so. It yeah, was, it's not, it's, it's not important. Police, it's, yeah. It's not really it police just, related, so. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but, she, uh, uh, she goes back. To her hometown when she uh, has a day off so all right well we could catch you on another day yeah, that's fine thank you goodbye well that was great has she told you where her hometown is no i'm wondering if molly's in town she is but evelyn said that she'd be back a little bit later uh, she lives with Evelyn. Oh, Molly lives with Evelyn. Correct. All right. So she helps look after Emily. All right. But well, then I guess we hang out at the diner until she shows up. Sure. If I gotta eat more bacon, I guess I will. Yeah. Wyatt seemed to take all of it. He seemed a little odd when he left. Yeah, well, he is a little odd, but that's why it. I guess. But, oh, I don't know whether you or Charlie wants to do it, but Evelyn's a little bothered by the fact that Emily's been sneaking out. And she's not impressed with her little attitude, I guess, with Wyatt, hanging out with Wyatt. She said that. I don't know. Just teenage stuff, so. But still. You might want to talk to Wyatt and, you know, tell him to cool it a little bit with Emily. Not to get her doing anything crazy. Do you think you could talk to him? I suppose. 
got no dad, so. Oh, yeah, Victor's going to be like, your dad. And it's like, he thinks Charlie's a lizard anyway, so I don't know whether him talking to him. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to Wyatt. All right, um, Frankie, yes. now that you have the symbol, does that help you a little bit or no? Um, if it pops up on any of my stuff. What do you mean if it pops up on any of your stuff? Where did you send it to me? Discord. Oh. I never looked there. I said, first thing I said was I'm sending it to you on Discord. Oh, I didn't hear the on Discord part. Okay. Whoops. Ooh. I said, no, what's at the bottom? Fan-fucking-tastic. All right. I, I'm confused as to why that that's an issue. Oh, it wasn't. It was more like kind of like starting to like put things together because I had a suspect in my head. Was was the suspect who just the same person? Huh? I'm asking if the suspect you had in your head is now the same person as you yes. assume it is. Okay. It, my suspect continues to still be the main suspect. Okay. Um, Wyatt. After yep. piecing the puzzle a little bit together, what what are you doing? Heading to the general store. Right. Sorry. Uh, that I is... need rope and earplugs. <laughs> are you gonna tie Frankie up? <laughs> hey. I mean, if he catches on me on a night that I'm micro dosing, he might have a shot. There you go. Say. But he wouldn't know that. Um, okay, so I believe that's... What's her name? The uh, younger Tremaine. Yes. So, you head into the store, and... Uh, a very flowery looking girl stands up from the kind counter and she says Namaste. Welcome. Namaste. Namaste over here. <laughs> I already made that joke. You can't make it again. <laughs> New episode. Free game. <laughs> How can I help you? Um, I'm trying to find Haunted oh. Hiker 92. No, I, Wyatt was going to the general store. That's who I was talking to. Oh. oh. Hello. I'm trying to find Haunted Hiker 92. <laughs> yeah, no, he went to I'm the I'm trying to find store. Haunted Hitchhiker 92. Oh. Uh, I would like to buy some supplies. I think we have an account with y'all. I don't know who you Yo, are. I have a credit card. I'm Wyatt. Hello, Wyatt. I'm Sophia. I still don't know who you are. Why would you have an account with us? We're with are you the with the school? Film crew? The people that are here investigating? Oh. You're with that person with the the fuzzy aura the fuzzy aura yes wasn't do i have a fuzzy aura no yours is very dark hers was dark or theirs was dark too i don't know if she would know that theirs was dark too but it had a little bit of like it I felt like they didn't Quite know who they were. Dogs. 
And yours is just very dark. Do you need a hug? Okay. She wraps her arms around you and pulls you close. And she like, just starts like stroking the back of your head and humming a little song. To be clear, it's not the song, right? The, si the siren song. The siren song. <laughs> Uh, that would do it. And then, the ground turns to quicksand. And then you get drowned. <laughs> and his head explodes. Yeah. Do you feel better now? As she, like, holds you in front of her, both hands on your shoulders. No. I feel a lot better now, actually. Now, what did you need? I need earplugs and a good 50 to 100 feet of some good solid rope. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. We don't really sell that here. Uh, if you did need something oh. like that, I would go to um, Wilderness Outfitters. They would have oh, everything okay. you're looking for there. Even earplugs? Yes. Okay, I'll head there. People Thank you use the earplugs when they shoot guns, so go uh, find some there. Okay. Bye. Have a great day. No, I'm a... Yeah, don't. All right. Uh, Frankie, can I take a guess where you're going? <laughs> Not much to take over there. <laughs> can I take a guess where you're going, Frankie? Are you going to Evans Antiquities? Yes, I am. Okay. I may also buy things while I'm in there this time. Okay, so you enter the room, and once again you hear the the wind chime made of like bones and like ancient coins and things above your head. You just let out not a jingle, more of a clunking with a little jingle mixed in. Oh, oh, you're back. Um, I'm keeping the book still. I'm not done right. with it yet. I figured. Oh, then what is it that you're wanting? Um, wanted to look around because the last couple of times I've been here, I've just kind of like tunnel vision. Uh, and two. Um, I'm going to pull my phone out and I'm going to pull up the video. Uh, I have a couple of questions for the person that made this comment. I mean, when don't you have questions for me? Um, what, what do you need? Um, well, first I'm going to start with, do you think it's a legit thing or is this a natural weird bit? Phenomena. Phenomena. Sorry, I'm so. Phenomena. That is our. Um... <laughs> I forgot the word. Making my way downtown. No. Um. What do you call the song at the beginning of the show? Theme song. Theme song. Theme song. Phenomena. <laughs> do, 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 do. Perfect. Phenomena. Do, 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 do. Uh, okay. So. I don't know whether Tom will go for that. It's mm -hmm. funny, though. <laughs> Tom's right. not a thing, though. Now, so what we do is we switch the track after he's done with it before he sends it. <laughs> so he's not going to look over it again. True. Um, okay. Um, I mean... Or what do you think, I guess? I mean, it's six of one, half dozen of the other. It could be. Okay. I, I don't know for sure. All I know is the things that I heard that night definitely made me not want to go out right away by any means. 
exactly is it? Is it like just talking? Is it singing? Is it? Oh no, it's singing. Tibetan throat singing? I don't know. No, Mongolian's better anyway. So just like normal singing? No. Not like creepy. Um... Sorry, my cat is speaking in China back there. Um, I I don't know quite how to describe it. It was high pitched, um, but in a very good way. Um, the singing was honestly amazing, um, and Frankie. Uh, as she's talking, you start seeing her eyes start to kind of like slowly glaze over a little bit. And she's like, I don't know, there was something just about it. It was just almost intoxicating and it really did something. And then she kind of goes slack jaw. And she starts walk, walking away from you. Victoria. She walks out of the shop. I, I, I'm gonna chase after her, I guess. Try and, like, grab her arm or something. Um, Victoria, what is going on? Are you, like, aggressively grabbing her arm, or what are you doing? Um, I'm trying to get- I'm gonna try and get her to stop if she, like... I feel she, like I would go you grab, progressive levels of force. You grab onto her, and she continues to try and walk, but she's not, like, super strong by any means. She's trying to walk away, but you have her by the arm, and she just stops in her tracks, and falls to the ground. Um... Victoria. I'm just gonna kind of, like, try and, like, shake her arouse her. I'm not gonna, like, bam, but, like... Uh, a couple people run over to you, and she, they're like, is she okay? What's going on? She... She she walked out of the store and then she just collapsed. I I, I don't know. I, should we get her? It, was it like the heat? What? It's not that hot out. Um, we hadn't been out very long. She just left the shop. Okay, let's get her back in the store then. Uh, they help you like grab one of their, her shoulders, and, like you're just dragging your boot heels across the ground into the store. Um, do you have, like, an antique, like, settee or something that we can, like, drape her on? I don't, don't know what that is. Um... Like, uh, like those lounge chairs that you can just, oh. like... The big, like, lounge couch-looking things? Uh, maybe. Sure. Let's go for it. Or, like, those fainting chairs? Yeah, it, definitely. Um, well, while you're there, I'll, I'll grab a... I'll grab some... I don't know, pillows or something, and, like, proper head in our legs. Okay. Recovery position. Uh, okay. After about five minutes, she comes to, and she's like, What? Why am I here? You just stopped mid-sentence and walked out of the store, and then I tried to grab your arm and get your attention and just collapsed in the street. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I was talking to you about the comment. You just kind of glazed over. And it was like I wasn't even here. Well, no, you're here. Um, are you sure? I'm... I'm positive. A couple other people helped me bring you back in here. Huh. Anyway, yeah, no, it was it was creepy. 
Do you remember where you heard this? Um, it was along the river. I had stopped to, um, use the washroom. Um, and then I heard the rushing water. And yeah, I heard the singing as clear as day. What direction is that river from town? It's to the east. I mean, northeast, southeast, whichever. It runs quite a ways. But you heard it on the northeast side of the river? No, or end of uh... I went north, then went east, so yes, it would be northeast from here. Okay. And you're sure you're feeling fine? Yeah, there's nothing wrong. I'm a little bit confused as to how you teleported me from behind the desk to here, but... You walk. Okay. Right out from, out from behind the desk, right past me and out the front door. Okay, it's fine. I just... I believe you. I always have our cameras rolling, usually. Um, I mean, that's kind of up to you at this point. I think you probably should, but... I also know that Frankie doesn't also follow the rules all that much. I'm just trying to think if it would have been something like... Not annoying enough to just keep Tom off my back a little bit. Like if actually following that one rule would have been enough to placate him. Well, that's your decision to make. I mean, I guess so. I mean... Are you, like, cleaning stuff off your desk? You look disgusted. Yeah, there's a tiny... Continue. Sorry. Um... There's... So, yeah, you would have kept it on? Yeah, it probably would have been, like, the one thing that I actually... <laughs> one rule I actually follow at this point. Okay, then yeah. Um, you look at it, and sure enough, she's like, That was really weird. Oh, yeah, see, I didn't teleport you. Hey, well, uh, the last thing I remember was talking over there, so... Well, whatever this thing is, I've, there's a lot of reports of that, so you're not alone. There's reports of people being in one place and then waking up somewhere completely different with no memory of anything in between. I uh, didn't know that. That's something I'll have to look into for sure. I'm not going to talk about it again. As apparently weird recommend. thing happens. So you um, go so ahead and do I'm your own gonna, thing. I'm just going to go wander in the shop and look at stuff to buy and not bring this up again. Sounds like a plan. I'm going to start Fantastic. reading this book some more. Um, I don't know what I'm looking for. Maybe something. Your mom. Ancient um, earplugs. I don't know. Maybe like a. Could be a sick joke. Maybe like a. Something with a mermaid on it. Like something like, I don't know. <laughs> Let's go with like. 
trying to find like a mermaid pin or something. A mermaid pendant? Sure. <laughs> no. Frankie's getting married. No. That's a Stardew Valley joke. Did you get it? Yes, because I'm married. I think everybody except Frankie is plays Stardew Valley. Mm -hmm. Did you get the joke, Wyatt? No. I said Frankie's looking for a mermaid pendant. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, you managed to find something like that. Just a pin with a mermaid on it. Cool. Um, I'll probably buy that and then just some like random piece of like old military something. Okay. Sounds good. You know, little trinkets. I'll figure out what it is later. <laughs> cool. I'll figure out what it is later and like later on down the line. Oh, remember that time I bought that military thing from this place? Yeah, it was a bazooka. <laughs> I was thinking something small. But yeah, I, mine was a joke. So, ha ha ha! You're so funny. Thank you. It's small, like a hand grenade. Yeah, exactly. Um. Uh, okay. Uh, Victor and Maxine. Yes. What are you doing? Chilling like villains at the diner. Oh, and I guess Victor's eating bacon. Why? Yep. I don't think you've met Hank yet. I don't think so. Well, hey there, little guy. How can I help you? I need some supplies. Specifically, I'm looking for earplugs and a good 50 to 100 feet of good solid rope. Now, what are you planning on doing with that rope? Uh, it's to help somebody if they fall in a hole or something so they can get out. Oh, well, aren't you so nice? Uh, let me look around and see what I got for you, okay? So it's got to be strong enough to be able to hold somebody if they got to pull their own weight up. Yes, for sure. I'll get that going for you. What are the earplugs for then? Uh, for shooting guns. It gets loud. All right. Okay. Um, I don't know that you should yeah. be shooting guns, but let me uh, let me go grab stuff here. He goes to the back and he's like, All right, I think I found something here for you. Comes back up oh. front. Uh, I'd say this would be good, decent, be able to hold some weight. Um, as long as they're not too hefty. No, I think we're good. You're very quiet. No, I think, I think that'll be fine. Kind of test the rope. Okay, perfect. Um, here you go. And that'll be blah, blah, blah. I'm not coming up with a number. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Thank you. So you're going to go find Frankie now and just tie them up? <laughs> no. Oh, is it for the quicksand? You can yeah. turn. Hi. <laughs> Because somebody was just laissez-faire about quicksand, so we've got to do all the heavy lifting. <laughs> Amazing. You're welcome. Okay, so. Um, while you guys are standing in the uh not standing sitting in the diner uh there's a couple of guys who are just talking to each other 
Um, one. One you recognize from the bar one night, but I'll send a picture of it anyway. Uh, here. Victor was there too. Um, at the bar. Yeah. Think so. Were we always all together? I mean, you guys do go to the bar together quite regularly. Yeah. Okay, so it's him and him. Those two are sitting in the diner. Um, and the one says to the other guy, it's like, man, I keep having these strange dreams lately. It's like I'm stuck in a never-ending maze. It's just, it, it's so creepy. Uh, that's the guy with the violin picture that Wyatt gets creeped out by. He gets creeped out by the violin guy? I do not like that picture. It in, bothers me in so real much. Life. Is that a little baby hand over there on the left? Stop staring at it. It gets worse the longer you stare. <laughs> well, I just made it go away. Locked. Done. Just deleted me as a friend. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we overheard. Yes. Is it Benjamin? Yes. And what was the How brother's did you know name? That? Eduardo. No reason. How did you know that? <laughs> what you? Does it what? pop up on Discord now? No. That'd be nice if it did. How did you know those names? Sometimes your mom, mother's memory does work. And the other guy, yeah. I don't think you got it right anyway, so. Eduardo or Alfonso or... It's not a, a, a Eduardo or Alfonso. You did get Benjamin right. Is it, is it Benjamin Parker? Yes. Okay. Why are we laughing about it? There's got to be some some secret to this. There's nothing. Your mom has powers. Maxine has powers. I feel like this is a lie. It is a lie. Come here. Do you like download it and it shows up with the name? No, I didn't download it. Oh, uh, did you click open in browser? No. Okay. Whatever. Okay. okay. I'm very confused. It's okay. You'll be fine. No, I'm not. Okay. I can tell you that already. <laughs> okay, so Benjamin was saying that... Have we actually talked to these... No, we haven't talked to these guys. No, the one guy was playing music in the bar. You did not talk to him. And the other guy you've never seen before. So we're not at the bar. We're at the diner. Yeah. Right. Okay. So I was going to ask if we wanted to buy them a drink, but... Buy them a smoothie or something. Maybe buy them coffee. 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 And coffee. Okay. Did you hear these guys? What they just said? I did, yeah. Do you want to mail, head over there and see if we can get any more info from them? Yeah, go ahead. Waiting for Molly to show up. You got nothing but time to kill. That's true. Hello there, gentlemen. How are you guys today? Um, hi. Um, I'm, I'm all right. Yes, I'm okay too. I'm uh, 
I saw you playing the other night. My name's Maxine. Oh, you heard me play. What you yeah, think? Yeah, and this is pretty good. So Are you... Good. Have you been playing for a long time? Very long, unfortunately. Still haven't made a big <laughs> inning by any means, so... Yeah, I'm guessing that's a little tough up here. Uh, yes, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, we... I don't know if you... We're... I'm Maxine, and this is Victor. Hey. We're with the uh, film crew that's been looking around these parts the last little bit. I don't know. I'm sure you've seen the rest of my crew with us. Uh, I've seen new people around town, so I assume that's the case, yes. Yeah, we're just... I don't know. We're just trying to see if there's anything strange or... or, uh... Strange happening in the area, and we just overheard you talking about something that you so you felt like you were in a maze or something. Yeah, but it's just a never ending maze, it's just a dream. Well, there's been some different things people have been talking about lately, so it's like I'm just wondering whether there's something if there's something actually happening that's giving people these dreams lately. Has any have you heard anybody else talking about stuff like that? I mean occasionally, yes, but like it's again, it's nothing major. Hello. Oh, sorry. So because we're waiting to speak to Molly, have you have you heard any singing lately? Uh, his face kind of changes. Uh, roll a manipulate someone actually. Oh, got my claw on just one side. Plus charm. What is it? Just one side. What's my charm? That's your best roll ever. I think so. I, I should retire. You got a 12. You got a 12? Yeah. On a 10 plus, then you'll do it for the reason you asked. If you ask too much, they'll tell you uh, what it would take for them to do it. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, so you rolled a 10 plus. So he's like, mm -hmm. well, I guess... I guess I can let you know. Well, listen closely. I'll tell you uh, my story, I guess. Deep in the heart of the forest, where the trees stand tall and the moon casts a lovely glow across the landscape, there lies a place of beauty where... Honestly, where I think these dreams came from. Legends talk of a creature that dwells within this area. Uh, it's... I've heard people call it the Siren. The Siren of Nahani Valley. The Siren of Dreams. It's said that on nights when moonlight is bathing the landscape and the air is thick with, some call it magic, you can hear the siren song fill the air. It's, uh, it's so hauntingly beautiful that it can transport even the most tired soul to magical realms but unfortunately it can also do some strange things to you you see when when I heard it I I don't remember exactly what happened but I woke up in a clearing in the woods and 
for some reason I was wet. I don't remember, but everything blurs together and you can find yourself lost in your own own dreams. I, like I said, I think that's how this all started. So Amaze dreams. Yeah. So just remember, if you ever hear it, try to get away from it. So, where you ended up wasn't where you started, correct? No, not by any means. So, was it that far from town, or, like, how did you find your way back? Originally, I was near the river. Right. And I don't know where this clearing it was, and I don't remember how to get back there. Because you were in a daze. Right. But I like to practice my music by the river, so that's where I was. Yeah, be calming. And you don't remember, like, the music starting at any time? It just... No, you I have heard. a vague recollection. By the river. Yeah. But it, I played along with it. Um, oh, okay. And then I don't remember what happened after that. But afterwards, I found my way back to the river, grabbed my music. Uh... <laughs> Your music maker? <laughs> yeah, my instruments, and um, headed back to town. So, you remember the song? Like, does it play in your head? Um, vaguely. Like I said, I, unfortunately, I don't remember the whole thing. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, we were wanting to talk to, it uh... It kind of started out, uh, and he hums the same song that you heard, uh, Wyatt humming that morning. Is anything happening to him? Uh, he's like, just gives you the start, so no. Okay. Do you recognize that, Victor? Yeah, I think that's the fast car on the highway. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> uh, and of course, we are the only ones who understand that reference. Ah... <laughs> uh... Yeah, that uh, that sounds a lot like the song Wyatt was humming. Yeah, when, when he, he took, took all the bacon. bacon. You know, I probably wouldn't have realized it at all if he hadn't taken all the bacon. Correct, if he had just got up and left. Yeah. Anyway, what about you, you, sir? Anything like that happen with you? I don't feel like talking to you. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we... Okay, so I turn back to Benjamin hmm. and it's like yeah we since I'm on such good terms with him uh, we were actually waiting to talk to Molly because we heard from someone else that they were talking about some strange singing going on too so I wonder if it's happened to anybody else have you heard anybody else talking about her or no um Yeah, um, I th think, I think Cassandra. Okay. Okay, it might be something. We're not trying to make it weird or anything, but it's just, it's something that's come up and it's, yeah, that's kind of the whole premise of our investigating is just to see if there's any strange phenomena things going on around wherever we are yeah but but yeah and this was something that happened recently like how long ago was this mm. last summer oh okay because yeah we've one of our one of our crew they they were talking to someone and you they would, also said that, that they'd yet. 
wasn't Finn, uh, wasn't Wyatt talking about Finn? Oh, I thought you were talking about. Sorry. No, I no, no. What Becky. I was. Yeah. No, what I was gonna say is, one of our crew knew someone in town that was. They said that they had heard about this singing going on too. So it must be happening to more people. But uh, we'll let you guys get back to your discussion. We. Yeah, again, sorry for intruding, but thanks thanks for letting us know about Cassandra. It's something we're a little curious about. Yeah, hopefully we'll get to see you sing at the bar again there, Ben. I'm sure you will. And the other guy leans over as you guys walk away. It's like, can you believe that somebody would just walk over and interrupt a conversation like that? Yes, we would. 